Hello. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Michael Barber and I'm the program manager for Ignite Phoenix 7. I would like to welcome old and new Ignite attendees. If you are new, I'm going to be doing this presentation Ignite style. And that's pretty simply put. We have five minutes for each presenter. Each presenter gets 20 slides. We have 18 presenters this evening on a wide variety of topics, but all have one central theme, and that is the art of. And they've managed to come up with some very creative uh, presentations for you tonight, all around their passions and around that theme. You know, we've been uh, blessed this past sort of six or seven weeks as we've made this transition in the Phoenix Art Museum. And we had this theme that we attach to everything, the art of Phoenix. You're going to get to see these 18 presenters talk about what is art in their life. And it got me thinking about something in particular. You know, when we're children, we're taught that certain, means, certain things mean certain things to us. A stop sign, right? But to a certain extent, we're also taught what art means. You know, we are given opinions from our parents, from our peers, from our friends, from our art students. And we learn that this is art. But I would challenge you tonight to listen to these presentations and understand that art is not just this. It's a wide variety of things in your life. And I think you'll start to see some of that in some of the presentations tonight. You'll see that art has nothing necessarily to do with what you think it is. It's all a matter of perspective, right? So while someone may think that this, the paintings in this room are one thing, the person next to you might think completely different, right? It's all about perspective. And art is in all of our daily lives. I snapped this picture in Tempe. If you're a resident of Tempe, you've probably seen it rolling around. This is someone's art. It may not necessarily be art to you, but to someone who has this car and can paint it zebra, that's art to them, right? So it's really about interpreting that. And it's understanding that art doesn't have a specific definition. Although there's something in Webster's that tells us what art is, it certainly doesn't have to be your definition of art. And a lot of these presenters are going to show you tonight that they have wide, vari wide varieties in a definition of what is art to them. You know, we see art in our daily lives. We see it in nature, in the clouds that our storms here in the desert forms. We see it in the rock formations that are around um, each and every one of our days. And it's found in a variety of different places. Art isn't just in nature, but it can also be in your daily lives when you're having that cup of espresso every single morning. Or when you sit down at a wonderful restaurant and you see how it's presented. That can be art to that chef. That can be art to certain people. And it doesn't have to always be about nature or art on a plate and things of that nature. It can be walking around in your communities and see art in a different perspective. So somebody believes this is art. To some people, this is destruction. This is graffiti. But to another individual, this is their art, right? So we have to be open to all these different art forms that we're going to see tonight. You know, a mathematician may look up at this and go, oh, this is the number two, right? But I see colors and patterns. And somebody else may see the faces and the images that are in this particular image. So each one of us interprets art in a very different way. This is a picture I took. You know, to me, this is art. Bud like cans after a day of drinking. And I got an interesting perspective on it, right? So to me, this is, you know, a linear, some sort of art form. And that's my definition of art, right? But you may see this and go, oh, it's college guys drinking again. So, you know, who's to say I'm right and you're wrong? It's all about perspective. But what art makes us do is, is think. It makes us understand the world differently. It makes us see different people's perspective. And I will challenge you tonight to just think and listen to these next 18 presenters. And art is all about you. It is your perspective at the end of the day. It's not what I'm going to tell you to do. Excuse me. It's not what the person next to you tells you what art is. It's simply what you believe it is. So with that being said, I do have a little housekeeping tonight. I want to thank my tremendous crew and all the volunteers that you see out there. They are wearing, wearing these badges. If you see them tonight, please thank them. Thank you. I would be remiss to also tell you that we have Haymarket Squares here tonight during intermission and the after party. They're a great band. Stick around and listen to them. We also have Joe's Barbecue here for the after party as well as the Art Tenders crew. Full bar for you tonight. It's $10 for the buffet. Drinks vary depending upon what your drink of choice is. And I would like to say a huge thank you to the Phoenix Art Museum. They are sitting in the second and third row here. Please give them a round of applause. They have been absolutely fabulous, and we wouldn't be here today without all those people in that row, so thank you guys very much. So we have three rules tonight. Cheer these presenters, support them, and respect them. They have worked very hard to come here tonight and put a presentation together.
think is interesting. We hope you think it's interesting too. We hope you stick around afterwards. I hope you guys have a great time tonight. And I'm going to get off the stage. You guys have fun. Thank you so much.